When you're going through the process of researching your lineage for a pedigree society like Daughters of the American Revolution or Colonial Americans, you're required to gather multiple source documents for each person you're using as proof of lineage. That can get quite cumbersome to manage since it adds up to a lot of paperwork to keep track of. Plus, many of us have generation after generation with people who share the same names. For me, it's Thomas White. To cut through all of this confusion, I created two L2 Scrolio designs with slightly different focuses. What you're looking at now is the Ancestral Lineage Overview. Here's how you manage the process of getting to a society application like a real boss. Enter each generation, starting with yourself in Generation 1. Here's me. If you have a partner, they join you in Generation 1. The males are entered in the blue boxes and the females are entered in the red boxes. Enter the birth and death details along with indication of the source document, like Idaho birth certificate or Washington death record. The children of this pairing are entered into the purple box between their parents. Continue moving right with each generation going back into history until you've reached your notable ancestor. When completed this way, each column then becomes a family group sheet for each generation for up to 16 generations in one ancestral lineage overview scroll. Now the DAR prospective member worksheet functions in basically the same way. However, people living today and having to trace their lineage back to 1776 will be able to do so in nine generations. And along the way, curious researchers will uncover amazing documents that they don't want to lose sight of, but are not the types of documents needed for the society's validation process. I've provided you with areas to write stories or note other important timeline events in each side of this scroll. For example, each time I found a pay packet document for my soldier, I noted it on the lines to the right. Each time I found a family event, such as my Patriot's mid-war marriage, I placed it within a timeline I was drafting on the same scroll. Everything I want to know about my Patriot service can be captured right here on this scroll for our future generations to see. And so now you say to me, Lori Lee, I'm already done with my research. My question to you is, now that you're done, how do you present that to other non-genealogy-loving family members? Remember that once you're done with the erasable pens, you can write over it all with the archival pen, iron off the erasable pen, and then you have a true archivable family heirloom that tells about how your family helped build America. Hang it on the wall or tuck it away for future generations to enjoy. Just save a tree, print on fabric, and carry your family in the palm of your hand.